Hey guys, it's Alicia Renee and I'm back to do a tutorial for the look that I'm wearing today. This look was completed with the Profusions Ultimate Blockbuster 120 palette. If you have not had the opportunity to review that, I would encourage you to do so because I do provide swatches and let you know where you can get it and so on and so forth in my opinion about the product. But I did find out that if it's out in the store, you can purchase it online. So don't wait because it is a holiday palette. I want to stress that to you guys. So I'm going to change out of my Sunday's best because I am rather clumsy and don't want to waste makeup on my outfit. And I'll be right back to start the tutorial. See you guys in a second. Alright, I already primed my entire lid, but I'm going in with the two um, bases that I just showed you. The lighter color go on, goes in the inner side of your eye. Let's put a little bit there and I'm blending that one out. Now with lavender because I couldn't find my milk. And then the blue along the lid. blend that out as well. Now this brush is a little bit denser um, and I'm just patting this color on and blend down. These, these colors are really, they respond really well with your fingers as far as blending so so people who like to blend like me with fingers will love this palette. With the brush suede, just going in and putting it here and blending in. Because this was a softer look, I used the neutral color here, this brown, which I always use. But if you wanted to amp this design up or this um, look up, you would probably put another color here and definitely put color under the bottom of the eye, but it was a more neutral color today, guys. And this on the lid. I'm using this as a base because in that palette they really didn't have a color that matched what I had on. So I figured I can pretty much mix it and get what I wanted. And I'm taking this slightly above the crease and blending. this blue I'm going to take that and put it slightly above the blue I just did it's going to really make it a little bit easier to um, look like I really spent a lot of time blending which I'm not going to do and I'm going to take a Sonia Cash Chuck um, I don't know what this is a blending brush oh. and blend that color up into where you had the brown Now I'm taking a sponge tip applicator that you can get out of pretty much any eyeshadow. I'm putting this in the inner corner, right by that tear duct. I'm really putting that color in the inner corner because a light will open your eye up. And I'm blending those color, that light color up and over into the blue, into the brown. I'm going in with my favorite liquid liner. I always use this. I tend to like a, um, I don't like the felt tip as much. So, this is my go to liner. Go in with the, and go straight into the waterline here.
Now again, if you were doing a more dramatic look, you pro I probably had a color there, but it was not the appropriate occasion for that. Switch your mascara and apply as needed. Or you can insert lashes or put on lashes here, but I'm not doing that today. Now for blush, I use the combination, the L'Oreal Hip, which is, is the cream one, I'm putting down first. It really puts more color down than the other one. The other one is really sheer, kind of reminds me of a good bronzer. color which is apricot flush and putting a little bit on the top of that Now to give a glow all over, I'm just using a little bit of bronzer, nothing too much, nothing to get too, too happy about. And I'll line my, my lips with this and then put this over top. I still have some gloss on, so I'm not going to redo it. But that is it. That's how I completed this look. Very simple, but I just want to show you how well those um, the palette works for the perfusions. And um, I'll see you guys in my next tutorial. Thanks for watching and color your world with a little more color. Bye, guys.